Hello there friends welcome to the 7th day of Inktober 2024 and let's continue the story of Nomad 31 now if you haven't been following the story i'll just link the remaining videos and my instagram link in the description what you can do is you can go there and follow and watch the rest of the videos of the indelibus podcast season 2 and what we will be doing today is following the prompt of passport and what i have made is an entry point a security checkpoint into zone 13 which is this vast expanse of a city which has been probably destroyed by war you are going to find that out in the upcoming illustrations but nomad 31 is trying to enter the city and he has to get his passport checked and he is in this huge crowd of other nomads of other refugees who had probably been displaced from this city due to the war i let you observe all the techniques which i'm using so grab your cup of coffee get your favorite snacks and enjoy this illustration For the podcast today we are going to talk about ink washes and about how you can emulate and create this illusion of huge crowds by just using simple techniques. So, starting off with ink washes. What is an ink wash? Ink wash is a simple and rudimentary technique of creating a solution of ink and water. Just ink and water and you use this solution for your shading purposes in ink illustrations. This is a thing which most of the pro artists use most of the pro illustration artists use who prefer to draw monochromatic illustrations there should be some sort of texture some sort of atmosphere some sort of detail into these illustrations and ink washes help you do just that an ink wash becomes a very integral part of an illustration when you are wanting to add shading to your illustration when cross hatching just doesn't make the cut there are many cases where cross hatching where etching techniques line work will do the job very well and it will give you a good looking illustration a classical looking illustration but there are many times when you are trying to convey just a bit more you are trying to make it just a bit more realistic and it is at these points of time when ink wash comes into play and ink wash is just so nice just the fact that it is so rudimentary a technique and it is so easy to prepare and store makes it even more appealing to me step 1 how do you make ink washes making an ink wash is very simple just get an old container in a, a small container of paint or a small container of your nutritional supplement doesn't matter just a clean container take some clean filtered water in it if you have distilled water at hand you can use it it just prevents contamination it prevents it from getting spoiled in the longer run take some water take a few drops of india ink or rotring ink or any kind of ink waterproof if you like it and uh, add it to that water give it a good mix and you can store it a pro tip here <laughs> just before you use, uh, start using your ink washes make sure to give it a good mix because sometimes the ink particles might settle to the bottom and uh, it will make your ink wash lighter than it used to be before so don't get surprised just give it a good mix and you will be good to go now using ink washes if you haven't been using ink washes this video is just the right place for you let me tell you as a beginner if you try to use ink washes it will seem a bit odd at first but think of ink washes just like watercolor just like you layer watercolors one layer at a time you let it dry and then you the next layer ink washes can work in a very similar manner you can use ink wash just like watercolors now obviously that is the main aim which you have with ink washes you want to create depth you want to create shades if you're using ink washes just like watercolor if you're good with watercolor techniques let me tell you it is going to be very easy for you to use ink washes while you are using ink washes one thing to keep in mind is how much you have diluted the ink it should be according to your preference because sometimes if your ink wash is too concentrated you might need to have a separate container of fresh water at hand to dilute it a bit more for the regions where you want a much lighter shade if your ink wash is too light if your ink wash is too diluted then you might need to wait between your layers for one layer to dry out and then the next layer to be put on paper so it is just upon personal preference and it also depends on the amount of experience you have with ink washes it has been a long time since i've been using ink washes and for me at this point of time i just get it right every time i add a few drops of ink as per the quantity of water i have in my container and i'm good to go you will gain this experience you will gain this through practice and don't worry about it in the beginning just go with the flow ink washes create this type of an atmosphere this texture in your images you can use it in conjunction with cross hatching techniques to enhance the depth effect even more 
you should start with a light wash begin by applying a light wash to your illustration and it will create a base layer for the subsequent washes which are to come what you can do after this is build up the shadows you can gradually add darker and darker washes to create the shadows and depth and you can use a variety of brush strokes to create the different textures and effects let me tell you just as is with ink you can use any type of brush stroke here you can use a wet brush and create these smooth lines or you can use dry brush techniques you are just limited by your skills here you can use ink and ink wash in a very similar manner almost in the same manner and the techniques apply to it as it is ink wash is nothing it's just gray ink you can just treat it like gray ink it doesn't matter now if you're planning on blending your washes what you can do is you can work while the layers are wet you can create smooth gradients with ink just like you can create smooth gradients with watercolor as i said before and if you are able to master the techniques of ink washing you can add depth a lot of texture and obviously that dimensional quality that illusion that it is in a 3d space you can create this effect and you can add a lot of dramatization to your illustrations and that is what i love because when you are using ink washes the highlights just become much better the darker regions of the illustration just get a bit more defined and it is all so harmonious in the illustration because when you're working in black and white the gray just brings down the intensity of this the gray just binds together the white and the black and it becomes that extra level of refined in terms of what is visually appealing and what is not to a small trick at the end of this video what i used in this we have discussed about perspective right and about line weight with perspective comes the matter of focus sometimes when you're looking at a crowd you have two options at hand the first one is obviously to make the crowd very detailed till the last person and you can draw all the details using varying line weights and it is obviously the best way to go if you're aiming for a detailed illustration but what you can do for quick illustrations is just what i've done here you can create the crowd in the foreground in the immediate foreground in a very detailed manner and what you can do is slap on some ink washes <laughs> and create a much less detailed bunch of people as it moves forth towards the horizon towards the vanishing point and especially if you are using a single point perspective a single vanishing point perspective this becomes much more easier to do in case of quick illustrations but obviously if you're hell bent upon creating a detailed illustration upon creating a detailed crowd then that that is obviously the way to go it increases your skill quite a bit especially if you're a beginner and let me tell you as a beginner if you're starting using ink washes the first thing is don't worry you are not going to damage your illustration just believe in the process trust in the process and start using ink washes because if you haven't been doing it if you start using ink washes you will notice that it is adding that extra dimension that extra depth to your images to your final finished illustrations and you'll love using ink washes from then onwards so i hope this video finds you well the technique which i explained today the technique of using ink washes and of emulating these dimensional qualities of an image using ink washes of shading with an ink wash i hope this helps you in your art journey I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care, be creative, peace.